Hello techies. In this session, we will learn how to work with list to files in folder action, which is available under OneDrive for business actions. Before going to work with this list files in folder action, let me tell you a small use case. In my OneDrive, I'm having a folder called Power Automate Desktop. In my folder that is Power Automate Desktop, I'm having few files along with the folder. If I want to get the information about the files and folders which are available in this particular Power Automate Desktop folder, how can I get to know by using OneDrive for business actions? There's the action called list files in folder action will give the information about the files and subfolders which are available in the particular folder. All right, let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. The main purpose of this list files in folder action is to get the list of files and subfolders in a particular folder. Now, if you observe in our Power Automate desktop, I'm having subfolders as quiz and some files that I'm having in the document and some files I'm having in PDF format and some files in the PPT format. Along with that, I'm having some files in the EXE. All right. All these files and folders, I will get it by using list files in folder action. Now, if you see the parameters for list files in folder, the first parameter is the folder. You want to get the files and folders in the particular folder. In our case, I'm having Power Automate Desktop with my folder name. Now, I'm going to select the parameter over here as select files or variables. Let me select that. And then I'm going to choose the folder that is Power Automate Desktop, which is available in our root folder. Now, whenever I'm going to execute this action, all the list of files and subfolders will get it as an output in the variable that is list folder v2 response from the particular action that is list files in folder. Now, let me go for the advance. We are having timeout and the output will be going to store in the list folder v2 response. All right, let me click on save. Now, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And there, if you see, it is trying to get all the list of files and folders by using list files in folder action. Now, if you observe in the flow variables, I'm having an output over here that is list folders v2 response. Let's double click on that. Now, if you see, I'm having property as value and the inside that I'm having some values over here inside the variable that is list folder v2 response. Now, if you click on more, this is a list of files and folders, right? There you can see I'm having items over here. If you go back to the Power Automate desktop folder, there you can see I'm having one folder that is quiz and remaining all our files over here. Let me expand the first one over here. There you can see I'm having name as quiz and each folder is true because of it's a folder name and remaining all our items, right? If you go for the any item, then it will come as each folder as false, correct? Now, if you observe the variable value over here for each and every item, we are having ID, name, name, no extension, display name, and the path, lost modified date, size of the file, media type, that is application, if you see over here, it's a document or PDF or EXE file, each folder, that is true or false, e tag, file locator, and finally we have lost modified by. Now, by using this variable, that is list folder v2 response, I need to get the information about each and every file or subfolder, which are available in the particular folder that is Power Automate Desktop. How can I go ahead and do that? Before that, let me click on close. And then I'm going to use the action call for each action. Let me drag and drop this for each action onto the workspace. This for each action, it trades over items in a list or data table or data to, to iterate the values. Now, in our case, if you see the values to iterate is list files in folder, right? What is the output from the list files in folder? There's a list folder v2 response. It's a list of items over there, all right? In this case, the select parameter value to iterate, I'm going to select it as list folder v2 response. 
but inside that what is the values that we have we are hanging the value over there we need the value over here at the property right i'm going to select list folder v2 response dot value and then i'm going to click on select now each and every iterate we are going to store the item in the current item variable all right let me click on save now by using this current item we are going to display the name of the particular file or folder which is available in our particular folder which is coming from the list files from folder how can we go ahead and do that that is by using display message action let me drag and drop this action inside for each now first one is the message box title i'm just going to give it the information over here this is file or folder name now what is the message to display in the current item we are having the display name i'm going to display that value for each and every iteration now i'm going to current item in my current item i am having the same parameter same properties which we have for the list folder v2 response now i am going to display display name and then i am going to click on save now what is this desktop flow will do first it will get the list of files and folders by using list file in folder action which is available in onedrive for business then the output will be stored in the list folder v2 response and it will go through the iteration by using for each action now for every iteration it will displace the value which is available in the current item with the name of display name all right now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started now as a first step it is trying to retrieve the list of files and subfolders in the folder that is power automate desktop and then it will go through the loop each and every time and then you can see over here first one is the quiz second one that is file over here and then the third one if you see that is major rpa roles and responsibilities of the doc and then it will go through the loop each and every time over here it is trying to display the name only in the display message there you can see pending topics.docx is the display name and now if you see over here exe file that is qsb 6.1.34.2 and then if you see it is a pdf read courses learning on demand and finally we have pptx that is rpa lifecycle dot pptx right now once it has been completed it will goes to an end all right i hope you understand how to retrieve or get the list of files on subfolders which are available in onedrive folder by using list files in folder action